channel if you're new here my name is Anne, and if you've been here before welcome back for today's video i am super 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 excited to share with you guys my haul so this past easter bath and body works had a huge sale it's $5.95 all body care they also had a 40% off there's just a lot of things happening throughout like Easter <laughs> um in Bath and Body Works and I love it I'm here for the sales I did order a couple of things and they did arrive very quickly to my surprise so let me show you guys everything that I got if you did participate in this sale let me know in the comments below what you did pick up so let me get started with probably one of the most favorite items that i have for spring summer that they came out with these are just incredible i had to get the other set so i already have this one right here which is the bahamas passion fruit and banana flower um the beachy glow body lotions these make you so glowy it gives you like a, a faux tan but it doesn't like stain your skin it only gives you like a temporary color that washes off it's not like a self tanner i love them so i actually ended up getting a backup of this fragrance and then i also got the waikiki beach coconut beachy glow body lotion I love the way that they dispense. It's like a mousse formula. It's so blendable, not oily, not sticky. They're just so perfect. What's going to make them even better is if they add sunscreen to this, then that changes the game for me. Like, I have to stock up more of these if they do have sunscreen, but I just love the idea and they look so natural on the skin. I have it on my hands because my hands are a little bit paler just to match like the little contouring that I did on my face today. But I'm just mind blown. These are just so, so, so good. If you do like giving yourself a hint of color and you don't want something that is going to like stain your skin like for a couple of days this is the best way especially if you have like special occasions if you're gonna bare your legs a little bit and you just want to give it like a hint of like glow this is so good for that it's not really universal but you know it's kind of like a color that you can wear no matter what skin tone you are so if you're more on the fair side like me it's gonna give you a hint of color but if you are more rich like richer deeper tones medium skin tone it's just gonna amplify the glow that you already have so i love that about these now i also picked up this one right here the into the night shower gel now i love this scent probably one of my most favorite scents out there i'm actually contemplating if i should wear this scent for my birthday and i picked this up with a reward i already saw the faceted collection version of into the night i don't like the way it looks i like this better i feel like it's more glamorous so the fragrance notes of this one are raspberry noir amber crystals velvety rose petals creamy patchouli and mocha musk this is just your very like material girl <laughs> kind of a scent very luxurious beautiful pretty perfumey it's amazing it actually smells like rosy but also there's a hint of sweetness there's a hint of oud in it that i can pick up but i'm not sure if it has oud in it it has patchouli the patchouli in here it's it's not super super strong uh, oh my goodness this one in the shower i can already imagine my skin smelling so good if you layer this with like the lotion with the mist it's just gonna last the whole night so i'm probably most likely gonna wear this one and i'm gonna layer it with like a perfume i don't know yet probably midnight fantasy or something by britney spears um i love this love 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 this scent and i'm so glad i have it in a shower gel 
now moving along i did buy a lot of shower stuff just because i love sales don't get me wrong but i really want to get the bang for my buck and get most of the things that i know i'm definitely gonna finish up like for sure i'm gonna finish up for sure i'm gonna use up and those are body scrubs and shower gels and just cleansing stuff for the body so I did pick up a bunch of body scrubs. Now, you guys, these are so good. These are the sand and sea salt body scrub. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I always go to the beach. I'm from the Philippines. We always go to the beach. I love scrubbing my body with like the sand. And this, it depends. Some sand is, it's like, it has micro shells in it it's so hard to explain but it's not literally sand it's like crushed up shells and then when you do scrub your body like it feels very very gritty but it's smooth at the same time and then it also has like salt in there in the sand which is really interesting um this one it kind of did copy the texture of sand which i'm really really impressed and you know how like some of their like scrubs like the foaming scrub the creamy body scrub um a lot of their scrubs would kind of foam up in the shower these ones don't really foam up and they work really 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 well on wet skin they're rougher so i like them better just because i have um kp you know like i have like bumps in my skin um and this one just helps smooth in that and in general, if you have keratosis pilaris, I recommend scrubbing your skin all the time. <laughs> like about twice a week because it's really going to help with the circulation. It's going to help resurface like the skin and it's going to smoothen it. Like you will maintain the smoothness of the skin. I promise you. So this one is the Fiji Sunshine Guava Teeny. I love this scent. It's like a nice floral scent. Mm, it's very nice tropical floral fruity and this one it has guava orange and jasmine mm, love this love 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 this now this is like really gritty so if you don't like more grittier scrubs you will not like this i got them in a couple scents so i also got bahamas passion fruit and banana flower and i love this one right here the waikiki beach coconut it's just incredible i love the texture of these you guys if you feel like the scrubs of bath and body works don't really do much for you these are different from the rest of them you definitely have to try them and don't be afraid because i know there are like glitter particles in here your skin will not be glittery it washes off i think the glitter in here will probably be just like some kind of mica or something like that um but don't worry about the glitter it's just for possibly aesthetic purposes it doesn't make your skin glittery <laughs> um because in the in the beginning i was like maybe this is like too much glitter going on and i don't want to scrub my body with glitter but then when i actually used it on my skin it's not that bad you will barely see the glitter when it's on your skin all right moving on i did pick these two up i love these scents you guys gingham is one of my favorite scents gingham love is just absolutely incredible um gingham is a fresh scent it has blue freesia white peach fresh clementine violet and clean musk it's absolutely absolutely the freshest hmm it's such a fresh scent the, the clementine here just really gives it like a fruity kind of vibe about it but it's not very very sweet it's just right and then it has peach so it's fruity but it's also clean um not overly floral i love this one this one the gingham love you guys know that i love this one it has strawberry it, or red berries it has rosemary this one actually it smells a little bit like you're the one and oh it is actually sealed it's kind of strange because this one is not sealed and the other one is sealed sometimes it's like that 
because i bought this online it's, i noticed sometimes online seals their stuff like especially with like the shower gels and the lotion sometimes they do that and then sometimes they don't so the Gigum Love, I love it. I have found that the closest sense to this one, aside from You're the One, is actually Mad About You. They have kind of the same, they have a certain likeness to them. So let me know in the comments below if you agree with that and if you've actually smelled Mad About You and smelled Gigum Love and thought of the same thing. Because that's just what came to me when i i used mad about you the other day and i was like this smells so much like gingham love so anywho that's that i like th i like these for this sense and also i love um using them as body wash more than body scrub just because they do foam really really good in the shower I also did pick up some more shower stuff and you guys this is like probably I don't have a lot of these in my collection and this is the cleansing body mousse I don't have a lot of these and I finished up my pink berry and by pink berry clouds <laughs> I was like pink I was gonna say pink berry and waffle cone <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't really <laughs> sound right i said to myself <laughs> but anyways i have a pink berry clouds cleansing mousse from semi-annual sale that i just finished up these are really good you can use them as shaving like foam you can also use them just like a a pre-shower just because they're so so gentle and they do lather really really well i just noticed that because of the foam property i do use up more of these than a regular shower gel but i do enjoy just the foam it's just really really fun in the shower and i'm like a kid when i'm in the shower i take forever and i'm just really enjoying myself in the bath or shower i like i would like play with my products sometimes but that's perfectly fine you guys like it is your me time it's the time you have for yourself so do whatever you want <laughs> so do whatever you like like really relax relax shower time to me is really that relaxation time i take forever to shower at night i take like about 30 minutes in the morning 20 30 minutes and then at night is really when i go ham i double cleanse scrub whatever hair mask so definitely i love these i have the cloud nine and i also have the pastel skies scent cloud nine it's this fresh and sweet scent it has lavender it has um amber it's really beautiful and it is like a kind of a weird combo of lavender and amber but weird in a good way because this is like a fresh scent that has some gourmand notes in it it's actually a beautiful scent and then pastel skies on the other hand i just love the packaging of pastel skies like i would definitely like say that this is like one of my color themes in, in the channel like when i think about like my colors it's definitely around pink around like purple around this kind of blue it's just beautiful and this one it is berries pink soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk this is that beautiful sweet coconutty um very very delectable kind of smelling cleansing foam i love it it is such a beautiful beautiful scent if you love coconut this is actually a unique coconut that i think you should pick up i have the body mist and the lotion of this so i'm glad i have the full collection i'm actually thinking about getting the body or the shower gel for both of these two because i just love them so much especially pastel skies moving on i did pick up some magnolia charm stuff so i got magnolia charm the body cream i missed this body cream from the last release i have the fragrance mist but i don't have a body cream so i just picked this up to match what i have right now so the packaging is kind of the same as last 
last year's collection i just find that this year they just kind of amplified the look of this and added like some more foil and some extra little details but they look quite the same i love this it has dewy pear blossom blooming magnolia and fresh cedar it is such a nice floral fresh perfect for spring kind of a scent and for my rewards i have another rewards and i did pick up the magnolia charm shower gel just because when it when it's like springtime and summertime i love floral shower gels something about like flor floral shower gels wow <laughs> i can't talk floral shower gels something about them makes me feel so fresh in the shower and it smells like spring morning every time i hop out of the shower it's like you know like that part in the movie where the main character is like running in a field with flowers and butterflies and there's a rainbow in the background literally that's how i feel <laughs> when i use floral body washes or even like lotions and stuff like that so um especially victoria's secret like their collection the spring days collection that they just had recently like those give me that vibe the running around the field rainbow in the background butterflies and birds <laughs> and flying unicorns in the background it's just absolutely like a dreamy kind of a feeling i don't know why it gives me that kind of feeling but i feel really like in a dreamy romantic mood when i use floral stuff so i also have one last thing which is they had a huge sale on the body butters so i found a body butter in my collection which is um Oh my gosh, I forgot the name of it. But I had a body butter in my collection that I didn't like the scent anymore. And I had to exchange it for something else. And I picked up gingham to exchange with that. Just because I do adore gingham so much. And I actually pair gingham with a lot of different like fresh smelling perfumes. Fresh smelling fragrances that I don't have any lotion for. It's just so um, blendable and layer with other scents but i had to try this one in it's body butter and this is the whipped body butter and the whipped body butter you guys they have like a really nice cloudy texture it is not heavy so it is perfect during spring and summer so that's the end of our haul before i end this video i want to share something with you guys that truly changed my life so I was diagnosed with precancerous lesions in my endometrium. It's called endometrial intraepithelial neoplasia. So it is a form of like a precancer in the uterus or the endometrial endometrium, the uterine lining. Of your uterus basically the lining so anyways the other day the doctor told me that um i had a biopsy like a couple days before that and then she discussed the results with me so you know that really devastated me at the time you know the day that i learned about it i got sad i got frustrated i got a little bit worried about you know what's gonna happen next however you know my go-to is when something happens when there's an affliction in my life i always go to the word of god and redirect my frame of thought and always look at it from what god promises in for what god promises are so and in god's word it says there that god's grace abounds god's loving kindness abounds and basically that means that whatever it is that's going on in in our lives in your life whatever affliction that we are going through in our lives god's grace covers everything 
everything that is wrong, everything that is problematic, everything that is difficult, God's grace covers that. And, you know, God, um, even if things are happening in our life, one thing that you always have to think about and you always have to consider is that no matter what difficulties you're going on you're going through that does not mean that god doesn't love you because god loves you very much and his loving kindness abounds in your life it is so easy to lose track of that thought and it's so easy to forget about that when you're going through something that's really really difficult but you know god is just preparing you for the greater things ahead and you know some of these problems they arise but that doesn't mean that god is not with you because as i'm going through this myself god is with me through and through in the process and you know the greatest thing about this is that you know it tests my faith and it also strengthens my faith because god actually gave me tools and people to help me with this and it just amazes me at how wonderful god works in my life and so basically you know i have a co-worker who turned to be my friend and her sister is a doctor who studied cancer for 20 years so i have literally somebody guiding me through the process we text and she gives me tips and she gives me like you know what what supplements i would take just really professional and sound advice from a very very talented doctor and just the fact that I have that connection and it to me it is a blessing and it is a favor from God that what are the chances that I will I will meet her you know uh, it is not a coincidence that we met it's not a coincidence that we became co-workers no because God tapped them to help me and God also brought them to my life and same goes for your situation I'm sure there are there are people that God literally orchestrated to be there in your life he planned these people to be a part of your life and all you have to do is to really realize and really reflect on what God has done for your situation because that's how I see it like God has done so much for my situation not only that um I'm required to exercise um so that you know um my body will be at a more healthy weight so that um eventually I will be able to just have more a more healthy body a more healthy lifestyle more able body and the other day a neighbor of mine gave me their exercise bike which i never thought i would ever have a free exercise bike but they gave me a free exercise bike nothing is wrong with it it's in perfect condition and they just gave it to me so it's absolutely amazing and i was just so amazed because you know i was like lord i need to get through this and i need to be healthy but you know what i was never lacking in terms of support from god because of all all the people you know the the help that he brings to my life to help me with my situation and you know, there's. it's also not a con coincidence that you are watching this video today because maybe my experience and my testimony will help strengthen your faith, will uh, help you realize, you know, what ha God has done for your life in times that you were in need, in times that you were in trouble. Um, God is always there and no matter what situation we are in, just remember that um, God is always um, covering us with his love no matter what season we are in. Um, we are not far from God at all and 
you know this season is not forever the hardships the trials it's not it is just a season it's just a phase basically um after this you know there is joy um and you know don't worry too much with what's going on just don't um lean onto your own understanding and lean on to the promise of god and it says in the bible too that you know god wants to grant us with long life god wants to grant us with health god wants uh, the will of god for our life is pleasing and perfect and we just have to lean into that and not into what's going on in our head what we think all the worries and stuff like that um so yeah i hope that that is something that would encourage you today i appreciate you guys so so much and i appreciate you guys for watching and staying up to the end of the video god bless you guys if you need anything from me have any questions um if you need support in anything just let me know you can always comment below i'm also going to put my instagram down below you, you can dm me or anything like that um thank you guys so much i appreciate you and have a good one bye